in the previous video we have seen like uh, how to install the Elasticsearch and Kibana if you haven't watched that particular video I do recommend to you to watch that video for in this particular video we are going to see how to set up the fleet server the fleet server uh, is the main to like do all the integration uh, you will find that fleet server in the left menu and you can go in the last it is the fourth last uh, option in uh, in the management and here we can see add fleet server so we have to add this fleet server specify the name elk fleet server this is my name you can input your ones https or http uh, i would go for http and to my uh, Mm, IP eight two two zero is the default. Generate fleet policy invalid. Okay. Let's go for this. Okay. So it will be running on HTTPS. It is going on, going on, and going on. Let's see. And fleet server policy created. Uh, this is the Linux, and this is the Debian. We recommend you installing the because it provides the ability to upgrade the agent with fleet ok so we will go for the linux tarball uh, you have to install this in your uh, elk machine just right click and hit enter so basically what it is doing right now it is uh, downloading that particular software uh, known as elastic agent and integrating this particular machine as a fleet server so not only your machine or this particular Ubuntu machine will be uh, working as a elastic search server with Kibana install for visualization and log search as for enriching the um, enriching the logs but it will also be managing all the agents and to manage those agents we need the fleet server and the fleet server will be also installed in this particular machine so now it is asking me uh, to install the um, agent i said y and enter y for yes and this will take a little time and elastic agent is on a little bit heavier side uh, it may crash some of your servers so um, you should be taking a lot of care if someone is saying it is uh, consuming a lot of if some your some of your client is saying that it is consuming a lot of uh, uh, memory then they are saying it true you should believing on that because it consumes a lot of memory and it is a problem with everyone we have got this same issues with our multiple clients so let's see whether it has uh, been integrated or not it is waiting for the elastic agent to start the fleet server so let's wait it says that I successfully enrolled, enrolled the Elastic Agent. Elastic Agent has been successfully installed. Let's see. We can see Fleet Server connected. Continue enrolling Elastic Agent. So we are going to now um, enroll some host into our uh, um, Fleet Server and for that we need to create some policies for now I am creating a windows policy and it is collecting the syslogs or we can close it we can um, go for agent policy create agent policies and we can add like windows and that's all create that particular policy and going on windows go for add integration go in windows um, go for this add windows 
select your uh, this is the integration name I will enter here Windows integration um, okay okay great what is the name you have to install in Windows policy okay save and continue so what I have did uh, very quickly so this is the policy which uh, we are uh, inputting in Windows so when you will be um, integrating a new host or reintegrating uh, uh, old host in as and that was a Windows host so you have to tell the policy like what are the um, logs which you have to collect so I have given here the system logs you have to collect and the Windows logs you have to collect so these are the policy which are being used to collect the logs like the policy should be knowing like what are the logs which we have to collect we have to collect the windows log so uh, for linux we will create a policy for their linux and if uh, that is our apache server then we will create a, a policy for particularly apache server for uh, getting the logs for apache so that is how the things are been working you should be knowing what you are doing end up like uh, doing everything and getting nothing so let's continue to uh, end this video here and we'll meet you in the next video explaining how to integrate a windows 10 uh, host machine to the elastic 8 and getting all the logs and seeing all the discover part so that's all for this video and see you in the next one